Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. <clears throat> Check out my home studio mentorship at silvertunes.com classes. Okay, so today what I wanted to talk about was knowledge and burnout. Uh, getting into burnout because someone had asked if I could just maybe discuss just a little bit about that because it's something that they're going through. But I want to discuss about knowledge based on just a conversation I had with my twin brother the other day. We were just out at uh, lunch and also I was at a uh, street fair um, out there and had a table out there and was I was sharing a, a table with, long story short, these other people I'm sort of like uh, affiliated with. And um, there was a young kid who was there. He was probably a senior in high school. And what he wanted to do in life, I asked, you know, what do you want to, what's your goal? What do you, what are you kind of leading up to wanting to be? And just right away, he just said, firefighter. That's it. Just firefighter. I'm like, oh, no kidding. So you seem pretty confident about that. Oh, yeah. So I'm not going to be going to college. I'm already going through the program right now. I've been doing it for a few years through the fireman program and all that. And just determined, just sort of knew what he wanted to do and is going for it and is acquired, has acquired the knowledge in order to get there. And that's what it's all about, is about acquiring the knowledge in order to get what it is that you even want in life. And if you don't have that knowledge, I can assure you it's going to be impossible for you to do the things that you want to do in life, hands down. Hands down. There's no if and buts about it. There's this this the way it is. And the conversation I was having with my brother was, you know, it's just kind of cool and fascinating to think that you could be whatever we, we want to be. We could do whatever we want to do. It's just like it's unlimited. It's just unlimited as long as we acquire that knowledge. Because if I... Again, we, we, you know, I, I mention attorneys a lot. I don't know why, maybe just because, yeah, 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 see them pop up in adverts all the time. But, you know, I think about, again, what it, it could be any profession that exists in this world. If you decide that, well, I, I want to be an attorney, I want to be a plumber, I want to be a, you know, you name it, I want to be a musician. Well, you got to sort of like an artist, you got to at some moment determine that, I'm going to start researching and finding and acquiring the knowledge to do that. So if I say to you that I wanted to be a plumber and that's what I want to do, well, how can I be a plumber? How can I be an effective plumber? I can only be that is if I acquire the knowledge and learn how to fix a sink and do everything else. And that requires knowledge. I can only help someone with their case or their whatever, their lawsuit or anything else if I understand the law and I acquire that knowledge. I can only build and strip a car and buy a car and strip it if I, if I attain the knowledge on how to put things together and break these things apart. So everything in life that you're going to do and want to do is going to require that knowledge. You want to be a background layout artist where well, you better acquire the knowledge of perspective and composition and understanding of these sort of things. You want to be a character designer where well, you better acquire the knowledge in regards to just observation and how to put things together and what makes a character designer a character designer and what makes a production character designer a production designer and understanding all these facets. And you can say, yeah, that's so basic. It's so simple, right? It's just like, yeah, of course, you need the knowledge. Well, it's not that simple because people don't think like that and people don't really put that into heart and really say, I'm determined. This is what I want to learn about. This is what I got to start reading about. This is what I got to start just putting actions into play to make this knowledge what it is that I want to do. So you, you want to be... Um, you know, learn how to draw animals. Well, I think it's going to be important to understand the knowledge of animal um, 
anatomy to that to the extent and I'm not saying full-blown and I'm not saying that you can only do that if you have all the knowledge of how to draw muscles and everything else that's not true that's not what I'm saying I've been drawing the human figure my whole life and I required to do it all the time but the knowledge that I have is based on observation the knowledge I have is on basic anatomy basic structure and I don't have the knowledge of all the muscles and you don't need to you don't need to unless you're looking to do it for a specific um, you know task and maybe it can inform you absolutely in specific things but um, if it's going to be a specific <clears throat> uh, you know if all of a sudden you're putting together a book on animal uh, uh, anatomy, right? You know, you're, you're doing something for the zoo and they require just an extent uh, and knowledge of, of, of doing that. Well, that's what you're going to move into. You want to you want to um, be one of those artists that are figuring out what uh, a human figure, you know, what some you find a skull and you're working for the police department and you want to understand, they need to understand, well, what the structure of that face looks like, that body looks like. Well, you got to understand anatomy in order to reconstruct that face and make it work. And you can see just these things that I'm saying over and over again, <clears throat> they simply require one thing and that is the knowledge and that is up to you to find that knowledge and that knowledge isn't just given to you. That knowledge is, you got to seek that knowledge. You got to find it. It's just, say, this is your treasure and you're constantly on that treasure hunt for yourself and that treasure hunt is your, your, your seeking of that knowledge and that's what you want to do. Now, transitioning into burnout where I feel this starts to happen is in partly required um, based on knowledge, okay? So the thing in order to acquire knowledge, what do we need? What do we need to do? That's right, we need to learn, okay? And so learning and is what is needed to, to require that knowledge, but also too much learning, I feel, can lead to burnout. If you're just learning taking in way too much information constantly all the time, you're going to burn out. And if you're doing something all the time, you're going to burn out. You're going to run a motor for way too long, an air compressor. It's going to burn out. Things burn out when they're used in excess. And that's what the sort of thinking that I, I feel that it's important to, to have and think about that um, you can't keep you know, I see it with my kids in school. I, I'm talking, you know, I can talk about art, learning in art, but I can talk about what kids, what we've all gone through, because we've all gone through it in school, right? You've all gone through school. You're all little kids. You're all growing up now. And when you got all that homework and all that other stuff, and it got to be so much that you know, get to a point where you're burnt out, you were miserable, you were so unha unhappy. Students in school, in art schools, have seen it all the time. They're burnt out. They're working on way too many projects, doing too many things, and they're going to get that burnout. Why? Because it becomes excess. And this is where burnout happens. Too much will equal burnout. So it's about making sure that you are finding and balancing your time and your structure to where you're taking it in and acquiring information you need to, but you got to slow it down. You got to you got to pull back on certain things and you can't keep going and I I've always felt it's so vital to have that real focus and purpose. I know there's people that are doing too much studying of everything, every single discipline to where they're no good at anything. And what you want to do is decide that, hey, I want to do character design. So what does that mean? Well, I need to learn character design. I need to find the right person who's going to help me get there to the character design. But I also need to understand how to move the human figure. And I, need, I don't need to understand all the anatomy, but I need to know how to move things around and I need to know, you know, again, observation and all these different elements. But that doesn't mean going off and learning how to do oil painting because oil painting while trying to do all these other things may throw you off and all of a sudden you feel and you start getting overwhelmed. But you're doing too many things and that's going to start to lead to burnout. So, the, the, you know, it, it, it comes to to timing for yourself and you know how your clock, your timing clock works. You know what you're capable of and what you're not capable of. No one can tell that to you. No one can give that to you. You're there. You're the seed. You're, 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 you're the creator of all this sort of stuff. You're, you're the one who knows 
your limitations. You know what pisses you off. You know what makes you happy. You know what makes you tired. You know what makes you untied. You know what shows you like. You know what shows you don't like. You know what people you like. You know what people you don't like. You know you have all the answers to all these questions. You just need to be open to yourself and willing to accept that you already have the answers a lot of the time and you know I'm burnt out. Okay, so what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Not ask someone else for their opinion on what I should do. I know I got to figure out for myself, what do I need to do? Okay, what I need to do, I know for myself, if I start to get burnt out, I have to take breaks. I have to stop. I just have to just physically stop and that's it. And I need time for myself. And that means even if I just leave my house and I, I'm, you know, I'm fortunate that I get to work from home and take breaks whenever I want to take breaks and I don't have to answer to anyone and I'll just get up and I'll just, but you can do that in most studios too. When if none of you, if you, those of you who are in a studio environment know this, those of you who aren't in a studio environment know this, that when you're at a studio, if you want to get up and walk away, you can get up and walk away. You take your break when you get your break, but as long as you get your work done and your quota met, that's all that's um, needed and that's all I base anything on. As long as I'm getting my quota met, as long as I'm doing what it is that I need to do, uh, ben, but I, I got to walk away. That means going and uh, j j driving somewhere. I go in and get a, a, a coffee, going to the, you know, a, a anything, just walking down the street, going on a little hike, you know, for myself, taking my dogs on a walk, just doing these sort of things. These are, you know, necessity. So it, it's important that, you know, um, you, and, you know, the thing that can happen too is we get to this burnout because we're doing so much because we don't want to say no. To work, we, we, we're working and we're, we're getting offered work and, and, and we don't want to say no and we take on that work and we take on that work and sometimes it can be too much. So for yourself, not only do you need to know your limitation and what you're capable of doing, can you even handle it? And this is where you're going to have to say no sometimes and turn things away. And, you know, I, I deal with it all the time. You know, I, I say no to a lot of things, unfortunately, not everything. There's things that come my way that I just find that I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to have fun with it and I want to do it. There's some projects that just just aren't don't sound fun to me and I don't want to burn myself out working on them and plus I want to make sure the client every time is getting a good product and that's very important to me that making sure at the end of the day whatever I deliver to them is not half ass is not just like just just thrown out there I, I got to do it because I was having fun with it and, and they're going to see that in the work and that's good what happens with that mindset is that transitions into more work because it keeps going because it keeps going because when you do good, good things come back. And that's the bottom line. All right. So that's it. I hope that answers any sort of uh, questions, anything, you know, you may be having. Again, my, um, my workshops coming up in November, uh, November 16th, full day of just a lot of fun stuff that I've never discussed before that I saved just for my presentations uh, that I'm doing. And they keep in the, you know, having the workshop there and getting you actively working on a lot of my beliefs and my principles and the mindset and getting you moving you to that next uh, level. And also my home studio mentorship. I'm taking applications right now and that's for my August session which is going to be at my studio downstairs down below. I just take five students at a time um, and you can just go to silvertunes.com and go to the classes and just fill out the application if you're interested um, and then I'll, I'll get back to you all right. Thanks again for watching. Make it a great week and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care.
this is Steven and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. In a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life. See if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey, all right? So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. Go back, go back. Go back. Great, go back. Go back.